placements and how important they are. Yep. We even saw team IND, uh, so, so teams like uh, Entity, who I spoke about earlier, they came second with zero kills. They still got 22 points. That's a huge average because you're looking at them getting 19 points on average. 20 is the is the third place average. So they're trying to jump up and any point they can get is going to be huge for them. Now, John, I want to give you a quick second to talk about a team in particular, Daku. This is a team that we, we talked about yep. in the break that I kind of want you to dive into really quickly as we get this game ready. Yeah, so Daku, they were sat they are sat at the bottom of the table at the moment. They qualified through group stages. 24 teams went out of the 32. They qualified in 22nd. Then into the semifinals, they qualified in 16th out of the 16 teams here. They are just hanging on and they just will not let go. You cannot take them down, but they're gonna try and give it their best here on a wrangle. So do you guys have any quick predictions here? Are right, we gonna start with a bang again? Are Indian Tigers gonna show up today off the bat? Obviously, they won the first game yesterday on a rank, or maybe they can continue that consistency. But for me, I think it's a soul or maybe Team IND. We'll see what they're able to go for as the plane takes a northerly pass. It's going to make it difficult for IND actually to go south towards military. Yeah, the plane's going from west towards east, so towards the military base, maybe a far stretch if teams want to go there early. We saw Team IND control the western bridge from military base yesterday, is how the Crazy game ended yesterday between Entity and Team IND. So we're back here where we left off. The action hopefully just continuing from there, straight into match seven. And yeah, Mega Stars again go towards the northwest, towards Sakari. And Tigers going for a more central approach here. Lots of teams going towards Georgetown. George, yeah, uh, Zaki is, a, is an interesting drop for the Mega Stars to try and go for. Uh, South George seems to be pretty popular at the moment as everyone's landing out. Daku, Daku out late, it seems. They're going to be dropping pretty close there. Of course, you can see Seoul on the screens. They're pretty central. They're trying to look to go for Pachinki, I believe, or School, actually. That's where they're going to be trying to compete for. Pretty much straight in the center of the map, but they're very close to the Brawlers. We saw boot camp. Oh, OK. What's happened? What have you the noticed? Circle. Oh my goodness, towards the south side again. Obviously with the plane going on the northern half of the map and the first circle being towards the south side, this is going to massively impact the rotations. Each and every team pretty much having to rotate south towards military base, towards the ferry pier. And we're going to have so much action as the ring does shrink later on. It's going to be a gamble. Do teams take up position on the mainland or do they go south, try and take over Sosnovka and see what they can get? One of the things we saw yesterday was Hydra. They took that risk. They went towards Ferry Pier. They had a great elevated angle on the ridge, just above the bridge. But as you said, that risk, is it going to go on the side of Military Base or is it going to go on the side of Ferry Pier and Quarry? Hydra, not so lucky. Team IND, though, the cars were stacked in their favor. Speaking of cars as well, yeah, they have loaded up. They've mounted out. And you can see them heading south uh, at the moment. But they're being paralleled by Rip Official, who seem to be stopping off for a little bit of loot on the way. I think IND do want to make their way down to that military base. It's their normal loot spot. But of course, with a northerly plane, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Maybe we're not going to be seeing the most normal drop positions. So many of the teams said that they've changed where they're going to be landing on these maps. So we should be seeing some contestion for early compounds for that loot. Only a few minutes into the game, and so far, teams are starting to make the rotation down towards south. Team IND again going towards military base first here, John. Yep. We saw them last time, fortify towards the bridge, and it paid off so well towards the latter stages of the last game yesterday. Hydra going towards the same sort of ridge as they're all making their way down south towards Ferry Pier and Quarry, and they're going to be there first, so the loot is theirs. Yeah, they're going to be able to loot up pretty much the entirety of the west coast at the moment. You've got Learn From Past all the way up in the north in Severny, but on your screens at the moment, Indian Tigers, they're looting the shipping containers in South George. There are three teams currently located in South George. That's Payne, that's 8-Bit, uh, and that's Indian Tigers as well. But you've got to watch out for Team Insidious over the way in North George, and even further than that, Zaki. That holds the Mega Stars, and everybody's going to be making those southern rotations, and moving on down, you can see at the moment, 8-Bit, they have control of the center part. The good thing about South George is that there's a few distinct locations. So what we've seen here is the teams have isolated themselves into those different places. Something interesting as well, yesterday in the final game, no one went towards shooting range or Stauber. And this time, Learn From Pass, Snack, Snap, Swag, etc., have all gone towards the northern side of the map. Something we didn't see yesterday. So obviously, noticing a gap in the market. Let's Taking see what full control of that, so they have full equity there. Towards the eastern side, evil big fellas. Daku as well, a team that you were 
mentioning just prior before we started. Yeah, you've got Godlike as well down in the south, just near Milter, as evil big fellas have taken over Milter Power. So that could be an interesting rotation as Milter Power is actually out of this first zone. They'll need to push in eventually. Daku will be a third party there, but up in the north over in Yasnaya, you have got Orb as well. But South George, really the focus at this stage uh, in terms of teams being very, very close to each other. Those rotations will have to be parallel, so there should be a little bit of action on that front. Orb as well being quite a silent killer so far. 75 points in the standings, currently seventh. Didn't speak too much about them yesterday. However, they are claiming those placement points. Slow and steady wins the race here, John, especially with the amount of money up for grabs. Absolutely. I think even in fifth place, you're going to get a pretty decent chunk of money. Uh, I have to double check the exact number. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's $10,000, so that's a huge amount of money to be able to get for just that consistency, for being able to bring it and keep your cool in this sort of situation. Cartoons there was just on our screens for flittering away. Mentioned yesterday the difficulty of playing at LAN. He said that the, the noise, the atmosphere, everything kind of getting to him, and they seem very nervous as well, just in their personality, their stature. Obviously not the same confidence that they had online. Brawlers as well, similar sort of fate. At the moment, yeah, they've taken over Rossock. Not really going to be challenged at all. They are south of the river, which makes that southern rotation a lot easier for them. There's no choke points until they reach those military bridges uh, and try and have to compete with pretty much everyone else. The boats are going to be a huge commodity on this stage on the northern coast. If people want to make those, south, those, southern, those southerly rotations onto the military island, they're going to have to be using those boats because, as we know, bridges are deadly. Unless you play for Tigers, then maybe not so much. Either way, teams all making their rotations down south. Now Megastar has been the only team towards the northern hemisphere of the map. So we saw it yesterday. Megastar has been the last team towards the circle, but it didn't work out too well for them. Joker, another fan favorite as well. Haven't seen too much from him. Coming into this event, though, John, he was hyped up. Yeah. Joker being one of the top killers in the semifinals. Joker being such an aggressive player, highly skilled really transition to land too well. That's kind of the story with, with most of Hydra, and that's what we talked about in the pregame segment, right? We're looking for this team to show up today. They have the skills to do it. So do Insidious. So do so many of these teams that we expected a lot more from. And this second day, they might have just been able to chill out their nerves and hoping, moving forwards, they're going to be able to put in a really strong, solid performance. I'm going to throw a question at you here, John. OK. All right. Team IND on our screens now, the only team on the military base island. We have RIP official towards the bridge just north of farm however why have you not seen more teams when the circle is centered around military base go on those two bridges is it the high risk low reward if they die early what is it it's because if you make that rotation you're committing to predicting the military island if the circle then heads north if there's a shift that's when you're going to have to rotate back and then you have to take that danger twice you'd rather take a little bit more of an increased risk later on uh, if that circle does shift south than having to do it twice at a little bit of a lower risk if, if you look at the statistics there it's just going to be a case of they're waiting for this next circle to pop so the next zone where that circle lands is going to trigger a lot of rotations looking at the map now mega stars in their vehicles making their way down south going to be rotating in shortly towards brawlers ross hawk Pain Retribution coming down south towards Quarry. May meet 8-Bit or Hydra first. Team City is hoping for a much better day than yesterday. As I said on the desk, they were expecting to be at the bare minimum top five. Oh, and John, Soul look quite separated here. Yeah, they've split up and they might actually come into a little bit of bother for it. Learn from past and brawlers, both pretty close to those separated locations. You've got Rip Official pretty close to the bridge, but two and two, not really that advisable this late in because we're about eight minutes into the game, but they have got compounds, they've got the cover. They're trying to take the shots, they're trying to cut off the rotation from the brawlers at this stage, and they've got the scouts further out. No more is coming. If there's anyone you want the sniper in hand of, it's Ronak. Yesterday on Sandhawk, nine kills, I believe, on his lonesome with the AWM. Unbelievable prowess with that weapon in his hands. The headshots, even got a kill through the door as well with the impact. Ooh. So, he's one of the players to definitely look out for. Got MVP in that game as well. A little bit of argy-bargy going on over by the bridge as well as RIP face off against Orb. Orb making that rotation. The Tigers as well controlling the choke over that western bridge. You can see at the moment, yep, yeah, this is going to be Rip just going for a swim. Yeah. Rip official swimming across the island. This is the circle. Military base. And the circle is still towards the military base in some sense. It's the hardest north it could shift though. Yeah, more so towards Pachinki. Ruler is going to be loving the exact zone of this. They can actually just try to survive in that little on cave they have there. Insidious 
Cartoon saying as well they want to play for the ridge more, play for the high ground, and you can see now they're taking that advantage point. The issue is for the Indian Tigers at the moment, they sort of banked on people needing to cross the bridge. The position they've taken makes it hard for them to rotate back towards the mainland. And this is the situation I was talking about, right? A lot of teams didn't rotate south, and they tried to just take position uh, on that bank and try and ready themselves for the cross if they need to go for it. But this is the situation they were preparing for. They don't need to go for it. Certainly not yet. Going to be witnessing deja vu, and not the player. Oh, the airdrop in the ocean. They're quite close towards Tigers. And Hydra. Going for a swim here, though, so dangerous. Yeah, not worth just exposing yourself in that way. But yeah, back to the point. Tigers now are going to be fortifying the position we saw Hydra have. Insidious Burns catching out a few players here from Pain. Has already Hitman goes down, and in the iron sights is going to be A and B. Hitman goes down as well. Insidious getting off to a straight hard start here on day two as they wipe Pain clean. Still one player alive, though, I believe. Rip official, yeah, they are. Sorry, Pain, pain uh, Retribution are just going to be able to flood on out. Two players still alive for them as they get away with just taking two casualties, but that is not the start they wanted to see. Certainly not this early on. They are going to have to make an interesting rotation. They're across the fields uh, just south of Pachinki. A very open rotation, but they need to make it. They just need to get out of the line of fire from Insidious. Tigers playing this one nice and calm. Mega Stars are finally out of the blue zone and into the second ring, second phase. Coming down south of school. Seoul now making their way down south of Pachinki. Pain rotating in towards Entity Gaming. This could be where the firefights start to begin. Swag Wap the stop. Four Brawlers now going to be onto the team, shooting out towards Dream S there of Orb. No damage really going to be landed here concurrently. Instead, though, Dream S and Co are going to be able to sail off into the sunset. This coastline, actually very strong into this circle. You were saying this position for the brawlers, they're going to be very, very happy with it. They have so much cover because they know no one's really going to be crossing over from the, the military island. There's not too many people there. They're going to be mo mostly going for the bridges. So they can have their backs pretty oh. safe, and they have a lot of cover. Oh, hang on a minute. Entity Gaming going to be backed up by Sol. They have the compound, though, and they have the advantage here. And Sol make their way into their own compound, their own house. But will it be enough here as they can be circled around and flanked? A really good start to the compound breach. They sent the scout in, they backed them up, and Viper's now on the flank. Entity Gaming, they gave ground. Good discipline here, but Deja Vu looks to be repositioning. Everyone just trying to get something in. Oh, wait, actually pretty exposed there, but he goes in and gets the nade. Oh, my goodness, Deja Vu goes down. And now White spots out a few of the players from Seoul, still in towards the same compound, but now they can just pick off Deja Vu on his lonesome and get that extra kill point and get even further ahead of Team IND. Entity Gaming suffering an early loss. Really, really unfortunate for them. They did need to keep that consistency up, and Seoul, they're the team that can stop consistency dead in its tracks. Three players now from Entity. Four for Seoul, and Mortal going in for some more grenades here. Just trying to soften up the team. They might actually go for that aggressive push. We saw it yesterday in the game they won on Ooh. Sandhook. The next Viper, circle just popped. Yeah, I was thinking of that. And the circle has popped, as you said, towards the eastern side, just south of Pachinki and of Farm. This is great for Rip Official, great for Brawlers again, with the advantage that they have in that position. Team IND are making their way across the bridge, as you can see on, their, on, their, on your screen. They are being disciplined about it, which is going to make the Tigers a little bit harder for them to take them down. Everyone's going to have to rotate in through towards here, and there's very little effective land at the moment. Oh, that could be perfect onto Magazine. Not quite. I think they may have been able to dodge that one. Good nade you usage from Sol, though. And HE, you can dodge a, dodge a ball. Yeah? Yeah. Get the reference? No? Okay. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I just, you know, what do you want me to do with that? I don't know. Laugh, maybe. <laughs> tell me I'm funny. Tell me I'm handsome. <laughs> another Rollers, drop goes into yeah. the ocean. Off the sub bench. Swag round with another one. Nova King, obviously, yesterday saying his statistics weren't too great. Allows for the fifth man to go in. I think that's the first shuffle of a team we've seen so far. Awaits going to be shooting as well. It's to the distance out towards Tigers. They're the top team in towards the top four currently. But as we said, strong start yesterday. Then it began to taper off. IND have actually backed off of going across the bridge. They're moving over towards the coastline and they're still on the military island. But there's a huge rotation coming in from the west. Oh, Seoul are going to be quarantined here between three teams. Tigers, Insidious and Entity Gamer just across the street. This could get quite hairy for them. We could see a little bit of early conflict, of course, with the effective ground being shrunken so, so low, it adds one or even two phases uh, to, the, to the current situation. Hydra could be rotating in as well, close to Insidious. Smokey here with his weapon just scoped in. 
Shooting off, rattling off shots there towards the compound, but no one really wants to be the first team to go out. No one wants to get that zero placement points. First team to go down, of course. Oh, he Taking that big shot. Head. A nice shot coming out from Ronak. Doesn't land the head quite yet, but that's a, dam that's a lot of damage to the armor. The body shots from the car now yet can be pretty devastating. But that western side of the current circle is so, so packed with teams at the moment. IND starting to make their break across the river as well, across the water, and they're going to go for it. But Hydra, take a casualty. Yeah, I believe he got downed. Bishma. Godkill as well in the scope of Seoul. Towards the north, it's learned from past. Towards the south, it's team IND, and they've been left unscathed so far. No kill points, maybe. Have they been collecting? The placement points. Hydra, though, they're pushing in. They're going Ooh. aggressive. They're able to get the down, and they are going to trade it back. They go one for one, and the brawlers from the coastline. Yeah. Obviously, at the coastline, it's only down, so players should be able to be revived here. Iconic able to heal up as well, so we should be fine and dandy for now. As you've got the third phase coming in, and then the next ring, John. Oof, that's where it gets really dicey. Team IND, they're making a rotation across the water. At the moment, they're just holding and biding their time uh, to try and get that cross and try and make it work. The next circle. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. It's right onto the edge of the cliff. The brawlers are going to be absolutely chuffed to bits with that one, as, uh, as, as we like to say. The megastars as well, they're on the coast. John, how can IND come back from this? They were on... Military base, it looked all so good, and now the ring's so far in the circle towards the south. How can INT have a strategy to win this? They need to breach the beach, and that is incredibly difficult. They need to, if they have smokes, they're going to be able to make it happen, but the teams from the east are going to compete with them for it. It's going to be really tricky. They might actually opt to go to the bottom of the cliffs, but then they can be shot down by the brawlers, by the megastars. So making the rotation away from the compounds. Speaking of smokes, just going to deploy a few of them, hop in the cars, and then get away. Insidious as well, charging ahead of them in the vehicles. No drive-bys just yet. Insidious making their way into the compound next to, I believe that was Orb there. Oh, they're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, Orb it is. Neo, attack. Strong killers from yesterday. Already get down, going to be happening there. Oh, wait, he's trying to see if he can spot out a few players. Sees the vehicle, but no one around it just yet. Burns is down for Insidious, but should be revived here. Existence. Shooting off towards the vehicle, but Seoul should be fine. Again, it's the vehicles that work best here. Able to get them in and make those rotations happen so fast. They're going to try and make it happen. Still all of the teams alive, but the next circle has less than 50% land in it. It's going to make it really, really tricky for all these teams to survive. I don't think they're going to last too long. We'll see who drops first. Let's see who drops first indeed as the Blue Zone is making its way in now. This is where the game's going to really kick off. Avi from God, like, takes down... Encore as well from Learn from Past. And look at the play here from Existence, just going past both of those teams in towards Hydra. Cartoon shooting him down. In the meantime, Sky from Imp Official also being down. So lots of downs happening here, John, but not too many kills. A lot of damage, which means late game, little, a few meds are going to be in the mix. Everyone's going to try and heal up and try and see what they can get done. They're still biding their time. Not too many people will be looking out that way, but the evil big fellas do have Overwatch onto that location. It's going to be interesting to see how that breach beach, that beach breach is going to happen from Team IND. One for one exchange is there between Godlike and Ape. Oh, here they go. Learn from pass going down. Two players being downed. Ashik as well from Pain taking down Snack. So this is looking awful here so far for them. Really, really unfortunate. It's going to be Godlike going down first into this game as they do drop early. But the rest of them, they still have a gauntlet to go through. It's going to be very, very tricky. Those eastern rotations hugely challenged. The west has kind of settled Ooh. down for now. Dancing around the bullets is Magazine as he just about survives. Cartoon's unable to land the shots. Now, Sol just playing this one pace, patiently towards the western side of the sphere. Brawlers are just behind them. And they may get the drop of them if they can spot them out behind the rock. And if so, can they land the shots off before Sol know exactly where Dark is? The shots go through, but Mortal just crouching below them. Not quite able to hit it. Of course, Seoul, they have their own cover. They have their own little divots on the opposite side of the cliffs. So they have got themselves a decent position. No one's going to be at their back. They're very close to the edge of the circle, so they can fight outwards. The next circle, though, will shift away from them. Well, probably. Yeah, Tempest going down as well from Rip Official. Learn from pass. Currently only have one player remaining, so they may be our 14th team to go. Oh, Seoul, Ronak again takes down Malik. Masik even. He's going in. He's going out for blood as well. Over in the north side, that's going to be Payne going down as well. They get oh. eliminated in the blue zone. Another shot coming through. Not going to land this time, but Insidious under pressure. 
He's been so good with these snipers here. As we do get the next zone here, John, what do you think? It's, it's going to be centered on these cliffsides. Soul are going to have to move, but the Megastars, the Brawlers, aren't quite in it either. IND, they are still okay at the bottom of the cliff. They are still carrying on. The evil big fellas making their rotation in, and this beach is going to be really difficult for them to cross, but they've got their scout out. I love how Insidious and Orb still in the opposite buildings. No conflict just yet. Speaking of the conflict, though, the HE grenade there from King taking down Burns. So maybe things are starting to kick off there in those compounds. Mortal being down by Swagwan. Ronak going down from evil, though, so don't panic just yet. Smokey as well from Insidious. Orb oh, is wiping them clean. They are just continuing to push on through. Insidious really under pressure now. They're going to find it difficult. They're in the same building. Oh, cartoons here. The last man really for Insidious. A one versus three. Unable to get anything done. And they clean him up just like that. Neo taking two of them. And now we have more teams going out as well. Learn from past. One of the top six, top seven teams being taken out early. Rip official are down. Godlike down. Pain retribution down. The big one for me so far though, John, is Godlike being taken out of the picture. Soul are challenging off against the Brawlers on the cliff side. Over on the bottom though, you've got the Indian Tigers as well, and 8-Bit all vying for control. Team IND are waiting in the wings, and everything is going to crash in now. Megastars have the high ground. Carry there down towards the lower ground. Sharko, just behind him, doesn't actually witness, or maybe hear that there's players in conflict going on directly to his south. Either way though, the real match up there was Brawlers versus Soul. Soul have to move. They are going to be pushed in by the blue zone, but Frost, he's isolated down the cliff face, and Viper seems to have smelt the blood in the water. As indeed Viper rattling off shots here against Frost. One versus one. Thank you for the camera observers. As Viper with the high ground able to try and get the better advantage point, the blue zone comes in. Oh! Viper goes down. Frost has done it. Puts him on ice. It's going to be very difficult for them to rotate and try and get that res as well. But over on the eastern side, everyone's fighting around the base of this cliff. It's going to be all blood all the time. Daku, very, very tricky for them. And the Megastars start to chime in from up above. IBX in, take it down Trance. Team I and D not looking too good. And Insidious are going to be eliminated as well in 12th position. Yeah, they were out earlier against that in that fight for Orb. Yeah, this event for them so far has been catastrophic. And Viper going down eventually to the zone. Scout obviously had the best play of the day yesterday, dropping down from the heavens in that last game. And Team I and D have been playing this one nicely, calm, and patient. And here they are in the top 11. Another crucial shift oh. in terms of the terrain remaining. We'll see what is going to pop Hydra. They're still in the fight. Two players, uh, two players remaining for them. They're on the northern side, and they get the shift. That's huge. Everyone from the base of the cliff is going to have to rotate up. They're going to have to fight through everything. It's who is going to be at the end. But final boss from the Megastars is at the back. He might just be able to push through and sweep everyone down on the back of some third-party fights. Both Soul and Brawlers are going to have to rotate in towards that next ring. The IND here as well are going to have a struggle. Mega Stars have the upper hand. HE grenades going in, but the things connect. No, it's not going to connect on the final boss. Siam with one, takes down Lance, the best player from Daku statistically. Cigar as well, up close at the car. Trying his hardest to spam off the shot, but it's looking like Siam may take it. Last player for quite tricky. Last player for Tigers. Oh, this could be them going out early as well. Tigers being one of the best teams we've had so far. He is going to win it though. Just for now, but... There's still a long way to go. There's so many people vying for control of this position. They have to get through Daku, and there's still two players remaining for that team, so they can start to rotate through. Scout with the drop onto final boss, and down he goes. Another team going to be out for the count shortly. One player alive for 8-bit for Indian Tigers. One player as well for Team I and D. Scout is the only soul one remaining. Everyone's getting shed shredded. You've got Orb and Daku, the only four-player teams remaining in this circle. Daku, a 16th place team. They're doing pretty well by all accounts. They haven't got any kills yet, but they are still in the circle, and placement is what matters. It's what matters indeed. Teams to look out for here already. Team Soul, Team I and D, only Scout alive, but Team Soul are still three players here remaining. So if they can get a strong finish here, get those placement points, that lead that they have right now with the tiebreaker of kills is going to increase. Let's see what they're able to get done. Still, Siam taking the fight, putting pressure down as well. Soul on that western flank, they need to push in. They'll be challenging off against both uh, Entity Gaming and the Brawlers for that position, for that side of the map. There's a, there's a supply drop as well in the wings, so there is going to be maybe something that they can go for for the Brawlers. The zone still pincering in all of these teams. Siam being the remaining one of Tigers. Not really going to be taking the one versus four versus Daku, as you said, but with how intense this all is, there's still Team 10 teams alive, and Scout's going to go down. Team IND go out in 11th place. That is major for the statistics going well. forward. 
Tigers down as well. They go out in 10th. Those single players starting to get bumped off. 8-bit still with a sole survivor. They are going to continue to move on forwards. Remember as well, John, this is the first time Team INT have not finished in the top five. So, Megastar still have Leo just above the ridge. 8-bit as well, maybe fighting off between Entity Gaming. Iconic going oh. in very aggressively there. Going to be dropped as well by Sol. And just like that, Sol are looking very strong here in this position. They have centre ring towards the eastern side. Hydra of the north. Brawlers down oh, in Oh, look at the ring, John. Hydra get the zone again. And Riser goes down. That's 8-bit eliminated in 8. And everyone's going to have to make this break from the cliff sometime sooner or later. Hydra super happy with this shift. They've been given the zone hard shifted twice now. That is incredible turn ups for them. Yeah, amazingly fortunate for them. Hydra have the best chance here of making it in terms of positioning. Orb and Daku being the only team with four players alive. Neo, though, from Orb taking down Joker, one of the best players from Hydra. They still have one player. Yeah, 17. 17 remaining here as well as Trigger is still alive in the foliage just behind the tree. Daku though coming out of the woodworks, they're leaving their net of safety, they're going to be leaving Lancer to die and just moving forward with the remaining three players. Megastars, IBXN could maybe try and throw a spell in the works. Evil big fellas, they've been sat down the bottom of the cliff, they're trying to ladder up, they are not playing to win here, they cannot climb up, they are just trying to, go to, they are just going to try and outheal the zone. You can see they're already starting to tick away, they're trying to go for placement, but I don't think they're going to get much past seventh. There you go. Spike going down from evil big fellas. They've zone invested all their, out. Yeah. all their meds over onto Sharko. So they're going to try and outheal the zone for as long as possible and try and wait for some teams to go down to get those placement points. But yeah, it's not going to happen. Sharko, sort of play for him. Has all the meds now. Can he outlast more teams? Can they get additional placement points here? That is the question. Still three players alive for Megastars. Sharko there below at the ridge. Trigger from Hydra, he's still there. But unfortunately for Sharko, it was a smart idea. Nice plan. Didn't quite work out in their favor, however. IBXN going to be going down as well from Entity. Magazine oh just rallying up so many shots and a waste from Soul takes down another one. White is down. Everyone just crawling around on their bellies right now trying to find those kills and Soul, the unstoppable tide from the west. They're going to be moving on through and trying to just completely isolate everyone. Here the Mortal chance here. Mortal looking very strong. All but four players. Daku with four. Team Soul have three remaining currently. Five teams, 14 players. Mega Stars really start to rattle off the shots towards Raheel, but he's going to actually win out the duel there with the scout. Neo as well from Orb. Trying his hardest. Another kill there from Mortal, I believe. Khan still in it for the Mega Stars. One player left standing for him, but that Daku are breathing down the neck. Daku, by the way, 16th place team, top four already. They take down Khan and they get themselves a kill as well. They're three kills and they're doing very, very well. Obviously, it's all about that consistency. They need to be higher up in more of the consistent games. Yes, they are 16th currently. Maybe this game will change that for now. You can see on your screens, Hydra of one. So towards the south there of the ridge as the zone is continuing to pincer in. But Trigger has the best position by far. Orb, though, they have four players remaining. Uh, one of the, only them and Daku have that. Orb has six kills as well. Daku with four. These are some really important games for these two teams. Orb, if they're able to get it, they can start to move up those ladder, those rankings and get towards those top three that they're really looking to try and put in because only Soul from those top three is still in the game at this stage. Let's see then. As you said, four players or four teams remaining. Ronak is going to be taken down. Orb, Dream S with the scar. Still four teams though. So two has come in with phase eight now, John. Ooh, oh, yeah. King taking down Ronak there, the spam through the foliage, managed to see them through the blades of, gla of grass. Or pick it up as well. They get themselves another kill from oh, that northwest. Mortal. Takes down Rahil. And again, now we can use the airdrop as cover. As Daku Sagar goes down from Trigger, Hydra again, the only real team inside the circle, so as long as they can survive, oh, he has a real strong chance. Well, it's whistling over the head of Draeger at the moment, still maintaining some strength. King finally oh. able to finish it off, and we're down to three. We're down to three teams, and it's Daku, Orb as well, and Soul trying to fight for the mix, but a waste goes down. Mortal is still alive. Can maybe try to go for the revival. Attack actually does finish off a waste. Now we're into the three versus three. Daku, Lancer just on. Barely any HP may just die. Mortal He's dying out the blue. to the play zone. Wow, okay. Two teams remaining. It's Orb versus Daku. Orb have nine kills at the moment. Soul go out in third with seven, but it's Daku versus Orb, and they've already managed to get themselves a knock. This is really good for them. They've got two players alive, and they go in for the two versus two. Let's 
see then King right now with the holographic sight shooting through towards Lancer, but he is alive for now. Gavar as well, but it's the oh. Blazer that's going to be the issue. He miscalculated that one. King's going to go down, and now it's only one player for Orb. Neo, but he is the star player here, John. If there's one player that Neo wanted in this situation, it would be him. As Gavar and Lancer start to push forward, Neo with one. Now the one versus one. He jumps up, he goes for the spell! Oh. Neo's done it! One versus two! You think that's air you're breathing now? No sunshine, that's bullets straight down your face. Not gonna happen for him. Wow.